why are you shooting this video in the white coat is that your question right now so i'm in my lunch break guys and this is the only free time i'm getting at the moment to shoot this video hey guys welcome to my youtube channel medicoverse i'm shruti phase 1 mbbs student uh, so yes we don't say first year or second year it's phase 1 and that's the correct way of saying it uh, so in this video i'm going to be sharing my day 1 in dissection hall experience so this video i'm shooting it way after the day 1 of dissection hall uh, so now it's been around 3 weeks in dissection hall but uh, the day 1 was really memorable and it was just a crazy experience So this was a most awaited moment for me also and uh, as I had seen in all the YouTube videos and everything I just wore I was a little nervous but I was uh, more excited to be there in the dissection hall uh, so once we entered the dissection hall uh, we had eight teachers waiting for us yes eight cadavers waiting for us and they are our first anatomy teachers so after we got settled into our groups uh, we were all standing around the cadaver uh, in different batches and uh, we were uh, asked and instructed to take the cadaveric oath so it was recited and we all had to repeat after them and uh, uh, it's definitely one of the most important part uh, of our mbbs journey because it's cadaver is our first teacher so we are the books and everything that we read it's derived from the cadavers so only if we dissect and only if we understand through dissection can we ever understand the books that we are reading so cadaveric oath was very important and we did learn to use those dissection hours wisely and uh, more than the excitement and nervousness and everything studies is going to be playing an important role inside the dissection hall so then we all took the cadaveric oath and then we were quite excited to start the dissection on the same day but then we realized uh, uh, there was no time that day and the purpose we were brought to the dissection hall that day was only for the uh, oath So after the oath taking uh, we all left the dissection hall and then uh, returned the next day which was actually the first day of dissection for us. Uh, so initially our sir came and he explained us the surface landmarks and everything. Okay I'm not going to bore you with the anatomy part but then uh, yeah he taught us a little bit and then asked us to read the book we have a dissection manual and we were asked to read the book because we are supposed to know something before we start the dissection right. so we are we were asked to read the steps and we were reading the steps and then roll number wise we had started on with the dissection so starting with the dissection was a memorable moment because uh, we are just first year mbbs or phase 1 mbbs students but then uh, it made us feel like we are surgeons we have our own set of equipments and uh, it was a great feeling i think anatomy is a subject which makes you feel like a surgeon in the first year of mbbs so we were all asked to touch the cadaver and uh, feel the skin and also make the incisions and roll number wise we had uh, started on uh, with the dissection uh, so i'm not going to go uh, on more details with the dissection because this experience is unique for each and every one of us so i want you to go to your dissection hall and experience this first whenever you join mbbs and uh, i'm sure you'll have a lot more crazy stories to share as well and uh, definitely the nervousness and everything we have before going inside is true but once you enter the dissection hall it's more uh, based on the studies and everything you just go there and you wish to learn everything in that 2 uh, hours of dissection or how much ever hours that is allocated for that and basically inside the dissection hall you are in the learning spirit and you don't have anything else in your mind so uh, you do feel like a surgeon and it is a great uh, feeling and it takes time uh, for that to sink in but then i'm going to leave it to you and you're going to have your own experiences and uh, make sure whenever you see this video please uh, do tell me about that in the comment section and uh, that's it basically for the experience in the dissection hall of course the learning part and everything else uh, in the dissection hall is a lot more story to share and uh, you will be bored if i share that but you uh, you will be the one who is going to experience that in the future so all the best and keep studying so always keep yourself motivated and remember that you're studying to save lives wherever you are even if you're preparing for neat or uh, in first phase of mbbs or any phase of mbbs we are studying to save lives so let's put our best efforts let's keep studying and all the best thank you thank you for watching the video uh, do like and uh, share or comment in this video if you felt anything relatable and uh, do subscribe to my channel thank you so much